Hey, I'm back. It's another episode of What's Cooking. Tonight I am making a sweet potato and sausage quinoa bake. So um, I'm just gonna get started. We've got three sweet potatoes, probably small to medium size. I've got one bunch of kale, a smaller bunch probably. You can use a bigger one if you want. I've got my quinoa here and I have some sausage that's thawing in the sink still. So I've started boiling two cups of water. That will be for my quinoa. I'm gonna pre-cook that. And I am going to dice up these sweet potatoes, toss them in this bowl here with some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and then get those in the oven to start roasting and softening up. And then once that's in, I wanna chop up my kale and put it into a skillet and kinda of get that just starting to get crispy. Then we're gonna put the whole thing together and I'll be back to show you that. All right, so I've chopped up my kale. It's in a bowl here. And I've got a little bit of olive oil, probably about one to two teaspoons, warming in this pan. I'm just going to saute the kale until it starts to get a little crispy. And then I'm gonna take that out, put it in a big bowl, and I'm gonna use that same pan to cook the chicken sausage. You can either cut it into like little rounds or you can just take it out of the casing and crumble and brown it, which is what I usually do just because it's easier. And I usually end up having to cut the little rounds up anyway for the boys. Um, my quinoa is almost done. My potatoes are in the oven. So this is a really quick one tonight, guys. And it's really simple, but it's gonna taste really, really good. So stay tuned to see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so my sausage and kale are already in the bowl. My sweet potatoes roasted for about 25 minutes. If you cut them in larger pieces, they're definitely gonna take longer to cook. I cut mine pretty small and it still took 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna add these to the bowl now too. And then I'm gonna add our quinoa. same bowl and I've also shredded up about seven ounces of Gruyere cheese so I'm going to just put about half of it in the mixture in the bowl here and mix that around and then the other half I'm going to sprinkle on top uh, this only needs to go in the oven now together and bake for about 10 minutes just really until the cheese has melted so I've got my cheese here on the cutting board I'm just going to take about half of this and mix it in doesn't have to be an exact science if you want more inside you can put more inside if you want more on top you can put more on top so I'm just going to mix this up together and then I'm going to put it in my 9 by 13 which I've just sprayed with some cooking spray pop it back in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes after I put the rest of that shredded cheese on top and then it should be time to eat.